This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. This morning, Cincinnati police are investigating a deadly shooting in Bond Hill. It happened around 1030 last night near the Bond Hill Cafe. Police say multiple shots were fired. Two men were taken to the hospital where one of them died. The other was listed in serious but stable condition. A person of interest was taken into custody at the scene. Cincinnati police officers are also looking into a late night shooting just a short distance away in North Avondale. We found investigators still at the crime scene early this morning. There's no word yet on any injuries or arrest. 16 people died of an overdose this week only, and now officials are warning the public that fentanyl is in full force here in Cincinnati. Law enforcement is working to find and arrest drug dealers, but they also want users to be careful and test their drugs before taking them. Jen temperatures start in the low 50s today, rising to the upper 50s as clouds will slowly decrease here across the tri state. The reality is, is that it's not as warm outside 15 degrees colder today than what we had yesterday afternoon. And trust me, you'll notice the difference and you'll also notice that it's rather cold tomorrow morning, but visually you will see the chill outside in the form of frost. First of the season frost advisory for the more purple blue color here in Cincinnati and everybody to the north is in a freeze watch. But the reality is a lot of us will see frost. This will damage a lot of our more sensitive plants, if not even kill some of those more sensitive plants in our northern spots. That'll be in effect until 10 o'clock for Saturday morning. We'll have yet another freeze watch for the following night into Sunday morning. Your week Weekend will be mostly sunny and a little bit on the chilly side. Tomorrow we're at 59. Sunday we rise to the mid 60s, but it's mostly sunny, dry and cool. It's a great weekend to get outside and get things done or just enjoy the forecast. Uh, next week we'll see temperatures moderating out a bit more with a bit more comfort. 